This is Patrick Archibald and this is an instructional video on how to set up Myth Mode. So let's go into the setup on your front end. And I think it's on the eighth screen, the remote control screen. You need to go down to enable network remote control interface and check that. You can leave the port as is and next your way all the way out of it. So we're finished with the uh, front end. You'll need to do that same thing on, on all your front ends if you have multiple front ends. Uh, now let's go to the Nexus One and make some changes there. Let's go into Android Market. We're going to search for MythMoat. It found it. Let's go ahead and install. It warns us it's going to use network communications and system tools, that's okay. It's downloading it and it's installed. Okay, now we need to set up our front ends. Let's go to settings, new location. This is going to be the server room. Hit next. Now we need to key in the IP address. Hit next and leave the default port and hit done. Let's save that and cancel. And now it goes back to myth mode and you're connected to that front end. And now you can use your Nexus One as a remote control for your Myth front end. You'll need to do this with each one of your Myth front ends. You'll need to add that location. Also, it's a good idea to have static IPs on all your Myth front ends. That way your IP address never changes. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it.